see in colonial India is actually that, you know, manhood emerged as a national preoccupation. So colonialism was justifying itself, masculine images, saying the empire is masculine and the uh, colonized are feminine, particularly the Bengali uh, Babu was caricatured as feminine. And on the other hand, nationalism was working out its own versions of it, you know, uh, expressing individual concerns to collective anxieties over you know notions of manliness so uh, masculinity was expressed in various ways you know from Vivekanand to Gandhi uh, from Sanatan Dharmists to Arya Samajis you know from notions of Brahmacharya or celibacy uh, to you know images of the warrior Krishna for example so you know this kind of intermeshing of Hindu religious identities uh, violence caste uh, and assertions of masculinities in North India was really quite visible around uh, Shuddhi, Shuddhi which means purification and you know it also particularly came to mean you know reclamation of lower castes into the Hindu caste hierarchy and then Sangatan uh, which literally means organization uh, but these were also movements you know which were launched for community defense so for example you know there were these poems uh, composed at this time, uh, like it went, you know, Mardangi Tumari Thi Kal Jahan Me Roshan Afsos Apne Aapko Kaayar Bana Rahe Ho, you know, and Shuddhi is the way out. So your masculinity was, you know, praised by all, but now you're making yourselves cowards. So in some ways, uh, these movements repeatedly asked Hindus to avenge humiliation, regain courage and become warriors, you know, of a proud Hindu race. So they constructed you know this kind of new full-bodied masculine male you know in opposition to these past images of an emasculated effeminate hindu male 